Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi and welcome to another amazing episode of Maggie Diaries. I'm your host, Hanifa Adam, and on today's episode, we are going to be walking you through a beautiful journey from raw ingredients to amazing and sumptuous meal. Joining me today in my kitchen is Faiza. Assalamu alaikum, sis. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Thank you so much for coming. I'm, so I'm really glad excited you. that you are here. Without further ado, our sumptuous meal of today is roasted garden egg sauce with bald yam. Cool, right? We have to go on a break and when we come back, we'll get cooking. Finish work for your cooking with Maggie Chicken. No rival. Maggie Chicken has all the natural ingredients you love, like onion, celery, turmeric, soya, and other carefully selected ingredients to give great taste and rich flavor to all your favorite meals. Maggie Chicken is your secret when it comes to cooking all the dishes you love for that unique chicken flavor. Oh yeah, shine with Maggie Chicken. Cook the difference. Welcome back to Maggie Diaries. To make roasted garden egg sauce with boiled yam, you'll be needing yam, palm oil, onions, I've already chopped it, smoked mackerel fish, ground crayfish, our garden egg, tatashe chopped, Cameroon pepper, and our Maggie star cube. Have you had this sauce before? No, I don't think so. You don't think so? Yeah. Well, you're in for a treat today. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Okay, thank this you. Be enough, yeah? Yes. So because we are in the holy month of Ramadan, yeah. I wanted to ask you what your favorite thing about Ramadan is and what's your favorite activity to do during Ramadan? Oh well, definitely has to be reading my Quran and then cooking. Uh, uh, cooking? Yes, definitely. Yeah, I would, yeah, you know, some people complain about how stressful it is, and that is why Maggie Diaries is here, to like teach you affordable and quick to make meals that you can eat for, with your family and friends during Ramadan, and even yeah. your neighbors too, during Iftar. Of course, this love and sharing. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we are here. When you talked about reading the Quran, do you yeah. focus on quantity over quality? Of course not. Definitely quality. Exactly. Knowing the meanings and what Tepsir. exactly he's talking about. Yeah. yeah. May Allah reward our efforts. Amen. So the next thing for us to do, let us wash the garden eggs. We are going to be roasting it because, you know, it's roasted garden egg sauce. Yeah. We are going to be doing that in our frying pan here today. But sometimes, whenever I want to roast, especially vegetables, yeah. I can also roast it in an oven tray as okay. well. So that's just another option. Okay, so I put the frying pan on the fire. I want the water to dry up so that we can roast it directly. And if we want to get rid of the water further, we can tap it with the paper towel. We just need like something like this. Like you're cutting tomatoes. Oh. <laughs> exactly. That way it's going to roast faster on fire. Where is the under. Okay, it's just yeah. this one that we are going to get rid of. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Well done. So if you want, I want to reduce the water, so you just dab it so that all the moisture is going to go off it, then and start slicing. Well done. The frying pan is dry, so I'm just going to start roasting it on it. You don't have to put anything on it. You just roast it because you want to chai it up a little bit so that it will have that smoky flavor as well. The great thing about garden egg is that it, you know, helps with digestion. It's a fantastic option for weight loss too. Really? Yeah. Weight loss. And because you are making it in a savory sauce, yeah. it is a great vegetarian option as well. And you're just going to eat it with yam, but our own has fish inside, so this is not a vegetarian meal. <laughs> Anymore. So do you have any favorite memory of Ramadan? Well, thank you. When I was a kid, we mm -hmm. normally have this uh, iftar session and then we'll join in with Tarawee. So we'll go to different mosques in different locations. Oh. Yeah. So there's this mosque we usually go to, I think it's at Egbeda. So like the mosque is so huge and then we'll go there, meet different people and you literally make friends. Exactly. Even as small as you are, you're making like tiny, tiny little friends, even <laughs> adults and things like that. I didn't know people went mosque hopping because oh. when I was growing up, we had just one mosque at the back of our house and that's just where we went from the beginning of the Ramadan till the end. Wow, just one mosque. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nah. 
And so, they're always camps at, like towards the end of Ramadan as well. Yeah. Are those available? Of course. You well, know, that's people, people when go for itikaf. Do, it, yeah. yeah. Well, women do itikaf too, actually. Yeah, anyway, so yeah. And this is another trivia for our viewers at home. Itikaf is the act that is done on the last 10 days of Ramadan, especially in the mosque, with men and women perform this. And it is just so that you have more time for worship. You know, it's yeah. usually done in seclusion. Exactly. And that way, you Away can, from you can do ex Exactly, exactly. You can do more things because Ramadan is leaving us and have 10 days to also look out for Lailato Qadr mm -hmm. and pray that Allah let us witness it because that night is better than a thousand Night. nights. Definitely. And God is just assigning prayer you ask. <laughs> and also to remember. pray to witness the next Ramadan like, and the one exactly. after that. In good health as well to so be able to exactly. perform the act of Ibadah. So I'm just roasting this until I can get brown flex on it. When it's roasted, you know. Oh, is that why it's turning like brownish? Yes, exactly. It can drizzle with oil if you roast your vegetables that way. Yeah. That's cooking. Okay. That's good. We're going to be serving the sauce with the boiled yam, so it's just going to boil and we're going to serve it when we are done with it. Oh, so it's not like we're doing like yamarita or something? Ah, no. Okay, <laughs> when so it's, it's, not, just... it's not a one-pot meal. Oh. This one, we're going to make the sauce on the side yeah, and we're going to be sauce. eating it with boiled yam. Yes. Oh. You mentioned earlier that you made friends when you went um, yes. Tarawi Hopi. <laughs> <laughs> Are there people that you keep in touch like for the rest of the year or like you made friends like forever? You meet wow. pe new people and you just stay in touch. It's just going to be like at the moment, yeah? Mm. So till the end of Ramadan, you guys will still be talking. And then subsequently, the vibe will be dying, like, you know, oh. to reduction in talking. Oh, you never know. You might go to another location. Maybe you can resume a new school. And the person <laughs> you prayed with in another mosque, you would, you, yeah, you meet each other Exactly. There. I even found out that uh, one of my, like, current friends, he yeah. used to attend one of the mosques too, but oh, then we never just amazing. met. So why then, why did we roast it? Oh, because we want to release this smoky, roasted taste. You should try it when you want to make, even when you want to make tomato sauce, you should roast your tomatoes can and you onion. Smell you can already smell, exactly. Yeah. You will see how like the taste and even the flavor is different as well. Yeah, let's we'll go try. blend it. All right. Everything at once? Yes. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. That's okay now, yes. Let me check on the yam because that has been boiling for a while. I'm just going to basically put uh, my fork right through one of them and if it goes through... Oh, yam is ready. Wow. Yeah. You know, yam cooks really fast, so that's fine. Please help me sieve the yam so that we can put that aside and I'll get on with the sauce. Uh, uh, uh. What acts do you think we should engage most in during Ramadan? Definitely that one, yeah? Constantly remembrance of Allah and then reading your Quran and not only reading the Quran, living by it. We are ready to make our sauce now. I want it to dry so that I can put the palm oil and that's just going to go like really fast. It doesn't take so much time at all. Okay, so exactly. are we adding anything into this uh, mix? No, no, it's just, this is just the paste. It is roughly chopped. I'm just going to put in the palm oil, maybe about two spoons. We don't want to use don't you need to shake the palm oil? Like oh, that? I did. <laughs> I oh. already shook it. That's good. Because I actually prefer if it mixes together. Some people prefer the one that has been on top, the ogiri oh. part. So I'm going to add in the onion so that it can fry. Our iftar is basically getting ready. Oh, so okay. there's no point that we put like part of the onions and then later we put... Oh no, not for this one. This one, everything goes at once. Ah, but like, I would like like the crunchy part of onion oh, at the end. Yeah. I'm... <laughs> Sorry, I've already used everything. But it doesn't cook for too long. Oh, because okay. you know, you don't cook vegetables for long. But yeah, that's the fish the joy. is smoked and it's basically edible. The garden egg too is roasted and it's basically edible. And because it's made mostly of vegetables, you don't need to cook it for long. So you still get your crunchiness. I'm not going to cook it for long, I promise. 
Then the next thing we are going to do is put in the garden egg. And then I'm going to add our magical ingredient, the Maggi star. So how many Maggi star am I having? Two. two. Okay. Yeah, this is the second one. Thank you. I'm just going to put it in. Well done. Thank you. What's your favorite meal to make during Ramadan? Or either to eat or to make? Maybe it's the same. Okay. Uh, no, it's not the same. It's not the same. Yes. Okay, you, not, you, have to, you have to ask yes. us for me now and then. To eat, definitely fried rice and turkey. Oh. But then to make, surprisingly, beans and plantain. You think beans is like a high effort meal, it's but it's not. You at just, all. exactly, you just cook the beans, add your sauces, and you're done. So I'm going to add the fish in now. So I'm just going to keep stirring because I want the fish to cook. So there's nothing like adding meat stock or fish stock. Oh no, no, we don't want it to be too saucy. This mm. is how it's eaten with yam. We want it to be thick and have this consistency. Mm. So our sauce is basically ready. I'm going to let it cook for just a little bit so that the fish can cook, but everything is already set. We are going to go on a short break, and when we come back, our iftar is going to be ready and plated. Exactly. Finish work for your cooking with Maggie Chicken. No rival. Maggie Chicken has all the natural ingredients you love, like onion, celery, turmeric, soya, and other carefully selected ingredients to give great taste and rich flavor to all your favorite meals. Maggi Chicken is your secret when it comes to cooking all the dishes you love for that unique chicken flavor. Oh yeah, shine with Maggi Chicken. Cook the difference. Welcome back to Maggi Diaries. As you can see, our iftar is plated and it looks beautiful. I want to ask you a question. If you could share this meal with anybody, who would it be? Definitely my mom. Oh, why is that? Because she's like the veggie kind of person. So. Oh, she would love to eat this with yeah. ayam as well because instead of eggs or other kind of sauces, mm. the sauce that is versatile as well. All right, let's have our juice and then Yay. we can dig in for iftar. Mm. The fruits yes. gave it the punch. <laughs> There you have it. We at Maggie believe that Ramadan is a season of love and giving. So this healthy meal deserves to be consumed with family and friends. Because with Maggie, everyone is welcome. Just in case you tuned in when we had finished the preparation process, don't worry. Go over to our social media platforms and catch up on this recipe and many more. I'll see you again in our next episode of Maggie Diaries. But until then, may you and your family and loved ones experience immeasurable peace and blessings this Ramadan. Before I leave you, always remember that with Maggie, everyone is welcome. Salam alaikum.